Well, welcome everybody. My name is Becca Keneally. I'm the chair of the Performing Arts Department. I'm also a musician and the director of the Endicott Singers uh, Chorus. And I work with music theater when we, uh, I do the music portion along with my uh, partner in that endeavor, Katie Clark, and also Nikki Seo Pedro Welch. Um, it is great to see you all here. I'm so excited to be doing our first Zoom event. This is just the best. Um, we're going to take you through a presentation where we try to answer things that we hear a lot as questions. And then um, at the end, there'll be a couple of short videos that we're going to show. Um, and during that time, I'm going to be perusing the questions that you've asked and kind of gathering our thoughts. And then we can answer the questions after the video. So um, if you ask a question along the way, that's great. We might just not get to it till the end of our little presentation. Um, uh, we're going to each introduce, I'm going to give you an overview of the whole performing arts department and what we do. And then I'll let each department within that, the music and the theater and the dance, talk a little bit about what, um, what we have to offer. Um, if there's one main mission I want you to take away is that everyone has a home in our performing arts department and we really encourage everyone to be involved. So um, you're in the right place, you belong. Um, it's not just for majors or just for minors, although you can minor and there is a pathway to major as I'll explain. Um, and some people come to us at sort of a beginning interest level, wanting to enrich themselves with something in the performing arts and others come to us deciding whether they go to a conservatory or, or to Endicott. And every, both those levels and everything in between are welcome and uh, we work together. So you're in the right place if you're interested in the performing arts at all, um, or you're very accomplished, this is where you need to be. So welcome. Um, I'm gonna let us introduce ourselves. Um, we are uh, staff and faculty and students in the performing arts department. So um, maybe, probably, I'll say your name and then you can tell us who you are. Uh, Katie? Hi, I'm Katie Clark. I'm the coordinator of theater. And Nikki? Hi, everyone. Uh, Nikki Seo Pedro Welch, dance coordinator, head coach of the dance team, and also the advisor of the student club Edge. And Owen? Uh, hello, everybody. My name is Owen Burkett, and I am the audio and arts production technician. Great. Um, and Ray? Hi, I'm Ray Novak, and I'm the director of the Jazz Rock Ensemble. And George? Hi, everyone. My name is George Dara, and I'm the director of the Endicott Percussion Ensemble and Private Lessons. And Brian? Hi, everybody. I'm Brian Fitzpatrick. I teach uh, many of the music courses, and I also direct Modern Band Project, which is a pop rock ensemble that the students uh, participate in. And Nathan? Hi, everybody. I am Nathan Thornton. I direct the Endicott Chamber Ensemble, which is a uh, ensemble of mixed instrumentalists and singers, and we perform in a variety of genres. Great. And then some of our students, we have Garrett. Hi, I'm Garrett Manville. Uh, I play piano, and I have a major uh, that's liberal studies with a concentration in music. And, Kate. and I'm also in, sorry, I'm also in chamber and percussion ensemble. Mm -hmm. Caitlin? Hi, I'm Caitlin O'Donnell. Um, I'm a senior uh, elementary education major um, and I'm minoring in music and I'm in the uh, chamber ensemble, the jazz band, and percussion ensemble. Uh, Megan? Hi guys, my name is Megan Delginio and I am a senior individually designed liberal arts major to concentrate in performing arts and like musical theater. And Justine? Hi everyone, my name is Justine. I'm a senior, I'm an English literature major and I am a student in the dance program. I am um, in the repertory dance ensemble. I'm a dance minor and I am the president of Endicott Dance Club Edge. Cool. And Mary? Hi guys, I'm Mary Fifley. I'm a senior education studies major and theater minor. Um, I'm part of the theater department and I'm also in choir. Elisa? Hi everyone. Um, like Becca said, my name is Elisa Palumbo. I'm a junior individually designed dance and entrepreneurship major with a minor in arts administration. Um, I'm a part of the Endicott 
repertory dance ensemble. I'm also part of our main stage productions and the theater program. And yeah. Nicole? Hi, everyone. I'm Nicole Lerner. I'm a junior nursing major and I'm part of the technical theater aspect. And Nathan? Hi, um, my name is Nate Magoon and I am a digital film major with a minor in digital journalism. Uh, I'm involved with Endicott Main Stage Theater, uh, Spotlight Drama Club, and I'm also a member of the Endicott Singers, uh, our choir group on campus. Did I get everybody? All right, I'm gonna take us through a little PowerPoint tour that'll tell us some things. Um, here we go. <clears throat> Can everyone see that okay? It's good, yeah. All right, All right. Um, so this is of course the aerial view of beautiful Endicott College. Uh, the Center for the Arts is in the lower right-hand corner there. Um, I don't know if you can see the parking garage. If you go from there towards the ocean, towards the, the road that hugs the ocean, the Center for the Arts is in that direction. Um, let's see. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Um, our next slide is of the Center for the Arts. This is a state-of-the-art facility. Inside we have um, two theaters. One is a black box theater, which is also uh, ready for dance with a sprung floor and mirrors and a uh, beautiful facility for dance rehearsals and performances. And we also perform all kinds of things there. And we have a 250 seat recital hall. And this building is only about, about 10 years old. We have a recording studio, practice rooms that you can use all the time. I mean, all the time, people use them all night. Um, and a band room for people to use in rehearsals and also in jam sessions on their own. I have a few slides of people in performance, as you can see, our beautiful dancers. This is our chorus winning Sing That Thing a few years ago, it was a television competition. Members of our jazz rock ensemble. Some of them also play in multiple ensembles. Our main stage fall theater production of The Importance of Being Earnest. And a production uh, a few years ago, Into the Woods. These are uh, some of the opportunities you have as a performing arts uh, participant. As we keep saying, you don't have to be a major or a minor in the performing arts to do any of these things. You can come and participate. Um, there are several choirs. Um, there is the Constellation Interfaith Ensemble, the Chamber Ensemble, as Nathan Cohen mentioned before, which involves a variety of uh, instrumentalists in a, many genres. You have dance techniques, courses that students can take for credit or even drop in on. We have the dance team, main stage theater, which does two productions a year. Technical theater, which helps out with all of these ensembles and their performances. Uh, percussion ensemble, um, Endicott Singers, Harmonelle and Bassline are all part of our chorus groups, uh, jazz rock ensemble. And they play uh, great tunes that you may have heard of before. Modern Band Project gives singer-songwriters a chance uh, to flesh out their music and work with a band uh, with some guidance. Uh, Pep Band supports our athletic events and play at uh, football and hockey and basketball games. It's a lot of fun. We have private instruction for everyone. Um, anyone can take private instruction for credit. Recording studio, uh, repertory dance ensemble, and um, which is our audition dance group. And then we have our student-led clubs, Echo, Edge, and Spotlight. Um, so those are all things that people can take part in. We do have minors in dance, music, and theater, and arts administration, which is a very useful minor. Students in any major can do these minors. Um, there are 18 credits, which is about six courses, although we offer a lot of one-credit courses in the performing arts, um, such as being in an ensemble is one credit, so you would take that a few times. Um, some of these are really good complements for other majors, such as uh, an education major or um, a business major. Some, you can come up with combinations of these minors that would really uh, complement whatever your major area is. But again, none of these minors are requirements for being part of our programs. 
um, we collected just a list of bullet points of things that people might need to know about the performing arts department. Um, you can create your own major in the performing arts department through our liberal studies program, and then you individually design your major. Um, and I will just say that I put this here because we have about 10 students doing this and they choose Endicott because Endicott is the school for them. It's the right place to be. And then they realize they are also really on the path to being um, a musician, a dancer, someone in theater, on stage, backstage, and they really want to make that their, their major. We have the capacity to lead these students forward into a successful career, and we are doing it um, over and again, and it is through our liberal studies department. Um, the next bullet, I talk about how many opportunities there are, really endless opportunities. I think we offer much more than many colleges our size. Um, for people to get involved in. Every semester we have around 300 students participating in, um, in our programs. Endicott ensembles perform with uh, premier groups in the area, in Boston and the North Shore, and we get the opportunity to branch out of, outside of Endicott and work with professionals. We have a partnership with the New York Film Academy, which is an, or, uh, an institution in New York City, but it has campuses worldwide. And this is a partnership that offers internships for students of musical theater. Um, and I mentioned before the Endicott Singers won the competition, Sing That Thing. Um, some more facts is we have some great internship sites. This is good to know whether you major in performing arts or you don't, um, for, especially for your first two years, you have exploratory internships that you can take in that, um, that for a freshman and sophomore internship. And many students find that they can do these in their performing arts interest and later connect that back to their major interest. So we have these connections with these wonderful places and students who have an interest in combining their performing arts passion and their major passion um, can really do that through some of these internships. The same is true for our thesis areas. Um, when students get to their senior year and they create a thesis, many choose to create a thesis that combines their love of performing arts and whatever area they are studying in their major. And you can see some examples of those there. Um, and our students um, from any major have gone on to get a graduate degree in the performing arts at some pretty esteemed institutions. And they've gone on to have careers in the arts. We have dancers uh, with the New England Patriots, Boston Celtics, Carnival Cruise Lines, Walt Disney World. Um, and artistic dance companies. And we have students who are making a career in theater education and company management. And we have professional singer songwriters who are making their lives work as um, musicians professionally. It's pretty exciting. I think I've covered some of these frequently asked questions. Do you have to be music theater dance major to do these things? No, <laughs> most of our participants are not majors. Um, if you join an ensemble, do you get credit? Yes, but we have a unique thing at Endicott where you can take a, an ensemble such as Chorus for credit, or you can take it for enrichment only. And that way, if you have too many credits in your semester, say you're um, an interior design major and your courses are all filled up and you can't take more credits, you can still be part of the Chorus. Um, this is unique to Endicott. I haven't found any other institution that allows uh, students to participate in credit bearing activities uh, for no credit. So it's kind of exciting. Um, the credits can help you, but if, they're, if it's not possible, you can still be part of it. Um, of course, you can take private lessons, even if you've never done these things before. You can also take part in dance techniques classes and learn more about those things. Um, many people ask us about auditions. Different ensembles have different requirements for entrance. Um, many of them um, do not have auditions, maybe just a placement a moment where you get to perform for just the teacher so that they know where to place you. Um, repertory dance ensemble has auditions, main stage theater, Productions have auditions, and Harmonel and Baseline require auditions. Those are some select groups in the singing area. Um, everyone can get involved behind the scenes. Backstage work is open to everyone, and our recording studio, which is so exciting, um, is open to everyone to learn about and be involved in. Um, this is a 
screen for you to screenshot if you want. Um, also, I believe this whole presentation is being recorded and will be on the accepted students page um, so you can come back to it. But this is the way to contact us. I'll give you a chance to take a picture. This is um, all of our social media connections. Um, again, you can take a picture of this and check us out in all these places. On YouTube, you can even watch entire performances from the last few years um, that are completely there for you to check out what we're doing live. Not quite live, recorded. And that's it. Um, so now I want to give a chance for each of us to talk a little bit about our area. Um, I think I've talked too long on the PowerPoint, so I'm going to dash right on to um, inviting Nikki to talk about the dance program. Thank you, Becca. Hi again, everyone. I'm Nikki Seo Pedro Welch, and I am all things dance. Um, what's really special about Endicott is we have so many opportunities that involve dance. And there are three specific avenues you can choose. Uh, one being our, our thriving dance program where you can take classes in tap, commercial dance, contemporary modern, ballet, um, and you can be in our repertory dance ensemble where you can participate and work with guest choreographers. We have master classes in the uh, courses that we, or master classes in the program where we may not necessarily offer courses. Um, you're welcome to minor in dance, but as Becca said over and over again, you do not have to minor or major to be a part of our program. Um, the second avenue is our competitive dance team. They just won a national title, so it is a quite competitive to make the team. Um, I will talk a little, you know, I will talk more about that in detail um, if there are questions. And then there are, there's also the third aspect, which is our dance club, which is called Edge, and everybody and anybody can be a part of that. Um, what's really special, like I said, is you can do it all. You can do some, depending on how much or how little you want to be involved in dance at Endicott. So I'd love to introduce uh, Justine and then uh, Alisa, you can chime in right after Jesse. Um, hello, everyone. I'm Justine. Um, I introduced myself before, and um, I am in the dance program. I am uh, in the repertory dance ensemble. I'm a dance minor, and I'm the president of Endicott Dance Club Edge. Um, when I came to Endicott, I just really got myself involved um, with dance. Um, it was a way for me to not only get involved and meet people, but it was a way for me to do something that I love and that I'm passionate about. And um, not only have I like been able to pursue my passion, but I've been able to learn so many valuable skills. Um, you know, being in, in the dance ensemble, I have really, um, you know, it's funny because you work with um, you work with the amazing Endicott staff, but then you also get to work with um, guest choreographers who work in the professional dance world. So, you know, when you're in that setting, you really feel like you're working in a professional dance company and um, it really helps you with your performance skills. And, um, you know, every choreographer is different, so they expect different things. And it's a way for you to kind of adapt and learn different styles and also to pick up choreography faster, which I have found to be very valuable. Um, with my dance minor, you know, it's funny, when I came into Endicott, I wasn't planning to be a minor, but then I, you know, was so involved in the program anyways that I decided why not. And it's, it was such a great decision for me because I was able to learn so much. And um, now more than ever, I have such a love and respect for dance than I did before um, because I've been able to learn so much through my classes. And um, with Edge, I, um, it's, it's been amazing. I mean, I, the club has grown so much and we have so many new members and it's a great, great way to meet people. And um, because the club is completely student run, um, it's such a great way for students to um, be creative and express themselves through dance because the students are the ones who are choreographing the pieces. Um, and, you know, being also the president of EDGE, it really has given me leadership skills, people skills, and a way for me to be a role model to others and to give people advice. And um, it's just been a really valuable experience and so amazing. And um, if you're coming to Endicott, I highly, highly recommend getting involved, especially in the performing arts and of course dance. Um, so yeah, thank you. Thank you, Elisa. All right, hi everyone. Um, so like I said before, I'm an individually designed major. So with the help of Nikki and Becca and our um, our Dean, Mark Towner, 
I created a course syllabus for myself and I got to pick all the classes that would entail in the dance and entrepreneurship realm, um, which gave me a lot of freedom. It, you know, it allows you, well, I still have to take gen eds and, you know, all the required courses. Um, I was still able to have that freedom to explore the different classes that Endicott offers and really just have fun and dive into the things that I love and really enjoy my time at Endicott. I'm also part of the dance ensemble and you know I didn't start dance ensemble or the main stage productions until my second semester at Endicott. Um, so you know it's never too late. I really did nothing the first semester and it was hard. It was a hard adjustment as I know you know, coming into a new place. It's your first semester at college. It was very stressful and, you know, um, but really finding a community where so many people, they're, everyone's welcoming and we really get to know each other on a deeper, uh, a deeper level, especially because we have intensive weekends where we're in the black box theater for hours and hours and hours all together. It's a great bonding experience, um, and it's a it's an escape from all the stresses of you know everyday life um, as a student. Um, but yeah, and then as I mentioned, I'm also part of the main stage productions, and I like to float. I float around the VPAC. I you know I'm friends with everybody. I try to just take it all in. Um, I if I were to describe myself. I would say I'm, I'm a supporter for the arts. I'm an advocate for the arts. I love everything that has to do with them, um, no matter which medium. And I think Endicott really has that. Um, it's a place where you can like cultivate your art and your love for the arts. And um, what else? I don't know. I think our program is still growing, which makes it even more special. Um, like even just in the time that I've been at Endicott, I think our dance department and our program in general is, we have so many more master classes coming in and little by little our ensemble is growing. I think um, our last audition, we had over 40 students coming um, to join. And yeah, it's a really special program. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you. Thank you so much. I know we're running low on time and you're doing a great job of being succinct and then we'll move um, on to Katie. <clears throat> awesome. Thanks, Becca. Hi, everyone. I'm Katie Clark. I'm the coordinator of theater. I'm so excited to connect with you all today. And if there's one thing that I want you to take away when you're thinking about theater, music, dance, is that um, that the theater, especially Endicott College Theater, is a place for everyone. There's a place for you here. And um, we, if you are looking to discover some other parts of theater or work on something else, we will work hard to make sure that that happens for you. So no matter what age or stage of um, theater lover or performer you are, there is an opportunity to grow here and we want you. Um, so there are tons of opportunities, like, like Nikki was saying, many different avenues. We do have theater majors who've self-designed. We do have a theater minor. Um, we, every single year, we do two main stage productions that are directed by faculty members, and you can receive a credit for those productions. Um, so just like the ensembles, you can make up some of your arts credits by um, participating in a main stage production. We also have Spotlight Drama Club, which is student run. I'm their advisor, and they are awesome, and they do at least two projects a year as well. So if you're looking for um, a way to be involved in um, theater, you've got two great options there, and a lot of people do both. Um, hopefully you'll hear from some of them. Uh, you do not have to take theater classes to audition, um, and again, we do, we do have theater minors and many theater minors, but you do not have to be in any sort of minor major thing to participate in any of our programming. Um, along with our main stage productions, we bring in two to three master classes each semester, this fall semester, we had a acting for film masterclass. Um, and then we also did a musical theater workshop. So those are just some examples of ways that we try to help you hone your skills and advance your craft. 
Um, we also offer voice and acting lessons as well as several performing arts classes each semester. Um, this upcoming semester, I believe we have four performing arts classes offered. Um, so again, theater, dance, music, they're for everyone. We want you to be a part of this community and we have a place for you. So if you want to participate, don't hesitate to come check us out this September when you are hopefully a current girl. Um, I want to introduce Megan Delgino. She's an, an individually designed major. And then Mary and then Nick. Hi guys, um, my name is Megan. And like I said earlier, and like Katie just said, I'm an individually designed theater major. Um, so I think that this is really important to say. When I first was deciding to come to Endicott, it was like my number one school, but I was so nervous because there wasn't a theater major. And even though I wasn't a theater major, I really thought that like this was something I wanted to be at a school that had. And I am so glad that I came to Endicott and didn't go to a conservatory or another school that had a theater major because my um, my experience at Endicott was very unique and very catered towards um, me and my level in the field that I'm in. Um, I came into Endicott as a different major and I was on the cheer team and I still am on the cheer team, but freshman year, I did not get involved really besides cheer. I didn't get involved with anything. And I really felt as though I needed to, and I missed that aspect of theater and I went and I talked to somebody in admissions and they geared me towards an individually designed major, which is great. Anyone can do it. It doesn't have to be in theater. It can be in anything that you want. But like Elisa, she's doing dance and entrepreneurship, which is great. Um, there are a lot of other students at Endicott who do this too. You, you basically design like an eight elective course. You still have to follow your general courses for liberal arts but you also get to gear your electives and everything else towards what you're interested in. So I did this and then um, sophomore year, I started getting involved in the main stage productions. I've done them in the fall and in the spring. What else? I've, I feel like I've done it all. I kind of, like Elisa, I kind of just float around the VPAC. I feel like I'm always there. I'm always rehearsing for something. Um, I have gotten some really great internships too through this program. I, got an internship freshman year at North Shore Music Theater and I still work there now in their theater education department and it's great so yeah that's that's pretty much the gist of things thanks Megan Mary all right hi guys I'm Mary um so I've been performing with main stage since freshman year and I've also been in spotlight drama club since freshman year um, Spotlight is really cool because it's completely student run. So like from directing to lights to set building and acting and everything like every it's all done by students, which is really awesome. The department as a whole um, lets you grow a lot, not even just like in the craft of performing, but also just like as a leader and you really get to like experiment with what you want to do. For example, like I started as like a quiet freshman and I was just kind of like in the background, but now I'm a senior and I'm, um, I'm vice president of drama club. Before the school closed this semester, I got to direct the Drama Club production, which was really awesome. I got to do uh, costume design and perform in our cabaret in the fall. So, like, you really get to do a lot in Drama Club. Also in Main Stage, they give you opportunities. Um, like, they have student assistant directors. Nicole, who's on here, she was our stage manager for our spring production. So you also get to, like, work on technical and backstage roles in Main Stage as well. Um, Spotlight what was I going to say? I lost the train. Um, but Spotlight, like I said, is great. And we do two productions a year. We always do something in the fall. Um, the last two years we've done a cabaret, but two years ago we did a musical. Those ones are normally everyone who audition gets in. Auditions are just to see where to place you. Um, this spring we did like a smaller play and it was a little more intensive. So we did have to make cuts for that, but we try not to. Um, like Becca said, with main stage, we do make cuts sometimes, but the department is like getting bigger and there's more opportunities for you. The department is really growing. This spring musical is the biggest production that I've been in. There are so many people in that musical, so it's great. Um, we make a really close-knit community here and you feel very supported. Um, you can go up and make a huge mistake and everyone will clap for you and make you feel good about yourself. And it's just like, I'm very thankful that I came to Endicott and joined this 
performing arts community because everyone's so nice even if like I run into a dancer they'll say hi to me like I don't know them but everyone's so sweet in this department so that's all I got for you. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to step in um, in the interest of time we have to probably move on Katie was very is that okay with you yeah um, I'm gonna let Owen talk for a second about technical theater uh, hi, everybody. Um, welcome. Uh, and uh, My name's Owen Burkett. I'm the audio and arts production technician. I oversee the technical operations in the Rose Theater, Tears Black Box Theater, and also the uh, multi-track recording studio, the 3D studio, which is also our carpentry shop. Um, so all aspects of theater, uh, kind of, uh, we do it all here, and um, I, I take part in all of that, helping my cohort, my, uh, my, my fellow uh, professors, uh, with, their, with, with the theater. Anyway, um, we'll be uh, looking for backstage help and uh, for our dance shows, our musical theater, our various ensemble performances and um, concerts. Um, we, have, uh, we need stage managers, props, painters, carpenters. Um, you can learn to design and hang lights or set up microphones, band equipment, and uh, run sound systems. Um, Drama Club is always looking for help and they're looking for technicians. Um, also, our front of house positions like lighting and audio board operators, AV operators, camera ops, video editors, um, and you should also consider taking the intro to the theater production course um, as well. It's a very good course, and um, they take uh, they take a big part in the role of, uh, of helping getting the sets built, and um, you know they get really good hands-on training. Um, so, a good course to be a part of. Um, the recording studio runs Pro Tools 12 HD through a C24 digital surface and a uh, Apollo 16 channel interface. So you can record uh, 16 uh, tracks, multi-tracks simultaneously and play back like 192, which is way more than we ever need. But um, <laughs> we uh, work with a lot of uh, bands. Um, me and a couple of professors will uh, track your, your band and record and um, get you a demo tape or something. Bands have walked away. Uh, bands have formed here at Endicott and uh, walked away and went into the uh, spotlight, you know. So um, uh, biggest takeaway from me, uh, you know, is I think that uh, the current and former students is uh, to take advantage of all of the opportunities. It's what they're always saying. And uh, Endicott has a lot of, has a lot to offer and uh, participation in the performing arts will help you experiment and uh, with new ideas and collaborate with fun and interesting people. And uh, we have a part at uh, backstage, we have parts on stage uh, and all over the place. Uh, box office, it's a really fun place to come and collaborate. So, um, you know, we look forward to seeing you and welcome. Thanks, Owen. Thank you. Um, I'm going to skip talking to the students about tech theater for a minute. I apologize to all of you. We're just running, running, uh, running low on time. And I'm going to switch the format up just a little bit. There are a lot of um, representatives for our music ensembles here. And I just want to let you know there are so many music ensembles and I encourage you to think outside the box of how it feels in high school where there's an orchestra, a band, and a chorus. And you have to pick something and you might have conflicts in time. It's, it's very different because we have more um, in the music world, we have more of niche groups. So you can be part of a group that does a more specific kind of thing. And you can be involved in more than one as um, some of my students will tell you. So I'm just gonna give, um, just ask some people if they can tell me maybe a favorite thing that they uh, love about their ensemble just for a minute. Um, and then uh, we'll move on from the music world of things. Um, so I don't know if uh, Nathan Cohen, if you wanna tell me what's a favorite thing you love about working with chamber ensemble. Um, for me, what I love about it is that we, we have a, different group of students uh, coming in often with different interests. So we often say, you know, who are we and what do we want to do? So sometimes we're playing in the pit band with, uh, for the musical. Sometimes we are accompanying uh, the choir. We did a really incredible um, uh, combined concert of classical music uh, this fall. Um, we had a student who was really interested in Romanian music, both on violin and then later on accordion. So we, there's different sort of international uh, folk music pursuits we take on, and it's really student oriented and uh, really dynamic, I think. Caitlin, do you want to tell us something you love about the jazz rock ensemble? Sure. Um, so I am part of the jazz band, and what I like about it is that it's 
at Endicott, the ensembles are smaller than what you might have at a bigger school. Um, and I actually transferred from a much larger school before, so I kind of had both of those experiences to compare. Um, and back at the bigger school, it was like, no, not everyone knew your name. And um, even though there were a lot of people there, it kind of felt really lonely. Whereas um, here at Endicott, everyone is able to like connect and become friends. And I think just the jazz band, um, having those opportunities to like really shine and um, be a, like take solos on pieces and um, like let your voice be heard about what kind of um, music you want to play. Um, it's just a lot more laid back and just fun. And I've met a lot of great friends um, through jazz band. Um, and yeah, I would just, I don't want to take up too much time, but um, Thanks, Caitlin. I would say that just, it's a really great way to make friends outside of like your major, outside of your dorm, um, just a way to connect on a common interest other than maybe something like your major. Brian, would you like to share something about Modern Band Project or your favorite courses? Sure. Um, Modern Band Project is a uh, kind of a rock band, pop. It's a wide variety of music. And one of my favorite things is that the students are allowed to um, create their own set list for the performances that we do. So largely it's student run. I'm there to kind of guide and coach. Maybe, uh, maybe we're doing a song that has a uh, pretty hard uh, lead guitar solo or something that I'll help, I'll show the students. But uh, the students really step up and they polish the music and we make it happen. So it, there's a lot of student involvement and that's what I like to see, that the students get involved really well and uh, they're choosing all their music and uh, learning it and making it happen for the concerts. Uh, Nikki, I'm gonna put you on the spot and ask you to say something about our pep band. Uh, Nikki is wor working with the dance team, works closely with the pep band and our pep band director couldn't be here, but she can tell you. Sure, um, we, the pep band is an integral part of the overall um, experience at a, at a game. Um, the pep band plays at basketball games, football games, and they recently um, started playing at hockey games. They are definitely a hot ticket that all the coaches want them there just because they create such a, a positive vibe. And it's just that, that feeling of hearing, you know, live music at a game. Um, you, usually their rehearsals are Monday or Wednesdays. Is that true, Becca? Yes. One day a week, two days a week. Um, we as a dance team rely on the pep band at games because we dance with them and we have such a strong relationship with them. The pep band director is so charismatic and absolutely loves being at Endicott and has a lot of pride to be the pep band director. Um, and we absolutely adore them. So if pep band is something you are thinking about, definitely join. The athletic events love having them there. We love having them there. And it's just a great thing to be involved in. Um, thanks, Nikki. Garrett, will you just tell us something you like about percussion ensemble? Yes. Um, so I think what I like about percussion ensemble a lot is that we're introducing styles of music that aren't, because we're using percussion, we don't have instruments like um, piano or you know, trumpet story about. So we're really focusing on percussive styles of drumming and stuff, um, like African drumming. Um, we've incorporated some Latin um, elements. Um, and George will arrange parts for different instruments. And one of the pieces we've been working on is like we've been uh, um, switching instruments throughout the performance, I guess. So, um, it's just a very different uh, group because of the limitations of not having harmony or something like that. Yeah, let's hear Can I add something to that yeah. real quick? I just also want to add that um, another great thing about percussion is that no prior percussion experience is required. I think all of us that joined it when it was first founded um, last year was that none of us had ever played percussion before. Um, so that's just another thing is like if you're new and beginning at something, you can still try it out and you're still welcome to join. Um, lastly, Nate, um, do you want to say something about being involved in uh, the chorus? Yeah, absolutely. So um, the Endicott Singers, 
um, was one of the first clubs that I joined um, when I came on campus. Um, and for me, that was a really good thing because it kind of served as like a foundational thing for me, um, which I, I feel that way about the performing arts like entirely, um, is because it's like a great place to come where you can just come and like make music um, with good people. Um, which is something that's like incredibly important to me and we like do so many different like styles of music where like sometimes in uh, the fall time we'll focus a little bit more on like more like spiritual like beautiful pieces where like in the spring like we have our pops concert and we get to personalize it a little bit more to what we like to what we want uh, with like pop songs and things like that um, it's just a whole lot of fun and I've loved my experience with the Endicott Singer. Thank you. Um, mentioned, we, I don't know that we've gotten to every person here and every group. Um, there are other groups, but I'm gonna, gonna move on and um, share with you. We have a couple of videos and you also might have other questions for us. So um, while we share a video, um, you could keep writing us questions and we're gonna go a little over time, um, but not, um, not too much. I'd actually like to start with the video of um, our uh, our school as a whole, the School of Visual and Performing Arts. Um, we've heard from a lot of students here as part of this panel, and I want to give you a chance to see um, some of the performing arts in action. In this video, you'll see some uh, some things about the um, visual arts as well, which is really, if you were there in person today, you would see this vibrant building that has visual and performing arts in the same place. And that's also unusual and we feed off each other. And there's a lot of uh, collaboration involved between those disciplines that makes things even more exciting and interdisciplinary. So um, that's what you will see in this video. I hope you can stay with us. Only seeing the PowerPoint. We're hearing the audio from the video. Hey, but... Rebecca. Uh, so the uh, when you clicked on the share screen, it might not be the one right on your desktop. So Got it. I'm it working on, your... on it. Yep, no problem. I, I I ended your screen share just in case you were wondering. Okay. Sorry. I hear it. <laughs> I've lost it though. Uh, yeah, I don't believe you are screen sharing right now. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry. Um, why don't we take some questions for a minute while I try to figure this out? Awesome. I feel like everyone's been doing a really good job of answering them. Go students. I can, uh, I know we have uh, some dance questions and I know I responded to some of you. Um, just with dance, um, the, there are auditions for dance ensemble. They usually happen in the beginning of the semester. Um, dance team, um, we will be solidifying when those auditions are probably at the beginning of May. Um, not sure if it's going to be live, it's, if it's going to be virtual, everything's kind of up in the air, but what you can do is continue working on your skills. Um, and then with EDGE, as Justine said, um, there are more placement auditions and those usually happen in the beginning of the semester as well. Um, and then the same thing with our, uh, our music ensembles, I don't want to, I can try and speak for you all, is that you know, you can experience the class or the ensemble by dropping in and we usually do that in the beginning um, of the semester. And you can, exp you can just kind of try it out, see what it's like. And we see, I see the videos here, so I'm gonna stop talk talking. My certainties, they 
you come on die now when will you if you had asked three years ago i would have said quite far from home Now I know it's alright, yeah, it's alright if we rise up slowly to a new high. Here we go, I pray the city will be good to us. It's all on track. Let the noise roll like thunder right off your back. All these plans you laid may still come. So we don't have to race, we got time. Take a breath and let the seeds you sown these many nights bloom. We got help to raise, let loose and take the stage. Do your best to make this place your home. Make this place our home. Time spent on heartfelt content. Find the light and make me whole. We don't have to raise, we got time to act away. Remind myself not to be consumed by what I can't control. Recognize this kingdom as his own. Oh, how we do our best to make this place our home. I should mention that the music in that video was performed by a group that started as a band in the Modern Band Project and uh, went on to be a professional band in the Boston area called Mad Yonder. And that was recorded by Owen, our audio, no? Yeah, it was recorded by Owen and, and Brian Fitzpatrick, Professor Brian Fitzpatrick assisted as well. So um, that's a homegrown music there. Um, I think, we are getting to the end of our time and I'm not seeing any more questions. If anyone has any other questions, um, one thing that I would like to say is we, we assume that you might have more questions specifically for one of us or for one of our disciplines and we may be holding some individual um, sessions just for dance or just for theater or just for music um, as we go on um, in this, this session of the season of choosing colleges. So um, we believe admissions has your emails and uh, be on the lookout that we can get in touch and have another session. But in the meantime, if you have any questions for us, um, we, are, we are here for you and we'd be happy to answer any questions that you may have about, about any of our disciplines. Um, but in this time when we're quarantined and we're home, um, I'm more aware than ever of how wonderful our community is at the Center for the Arts and how we all come together to create that community. And it's made up of students just like you. Um, you don't have to wait for any special um, award or permission to be invited uh, to be part of this. You are part of this. You are part of our performing arts program. You are who makes up our performing arts program. And uh, I can't wait to meet you and to have you build your new community with us in person and not virtually. <laughs> and uh, in the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in today. <laughs>